You gotta be careful what and how you say it because things can get twisted just like that. An incident of unnecessary roughness and unintentional harm. That's what Jennifer Norman says happened to her daughter Tuesday afternoon at Sarah Scott. The injury happened when two students were playing basketball. That's when Norman's daughter, Nevea, was picked up by another student, dropped, and hit the ground. Both Jennifer and her husband, Brandon, who is a pastor, came to the school. Later, Pastor Norman went on Facebook and posted a request for prayers for their daughter. That picture actually is when I first saw her and I knelt by her and I said, we're going to stop and we're going to pray. After being taken to Union Hospital, the girl was transferred to Riley Children's Hospital in Indianapolis, where the family learned that Nevea sustained a fracture to her backbone, the second lumbar spinal vertebrae. Meanwhile, the number of views of the Facebook post continue to grow. That's the problem with social media. You get the good with the bad. I wasn't looking for negative attention. I wasn't looking to try to smear Sarah Scott. wasn't looking to try to smear Vigo County, nor this child, nor his family. Our biggest goal was we knew the best way to connect with a lot of our friends and people that we know, instead of sending out 50,000 text messages, was to put it up and say, can you know, please pray for our child. The post was shared thousands of times across the Wabash Valley and the country. As it was shared, some people thought the child's injuries were the result of bullying, which wasn't exactly true. Norman says what happened to her daughter was just a form of incidental bullying. It's an incidental bullying. It's not targeted. It's not something that is done all the time to that one kid. Since the post went viral, Norman says some people through social media are accusing the boy of being a bully. And now some people are bullying the boy and his family. Norman says she doesn't consider the student a bully, and neither does the school. She also says all the parties involved are working together. I, I think that's what people need to know is that if you work right and do things right, things will work out for the best of all parties.